All right, what's going on, everybody? We got an awesome tour for you today. We got some good views. We're here out in San Diego. What's up, Lucas? What's up, guys? <laughs> uh, we're gonna show off his awesome van, probably one of the most unique and interesting layouts that I've seen, and what he's up to and how he got started and all that good jazz. Here we go! Guys, if there's any outside noise, if there's any wind, we've got the ocean right there. So just bear with us while we before we step on inside. But thank you for uh, contacting me, buddy, and yeah, and um, kind of tell me about kind of your journey here and how you got into uh, this this amazing van. Yeah, so I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for being here and giving me this tour and doing your videos for years, as most people. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate um, you. Yeah, so I was extremely fortunate after watching uh, your first tour with Shaden, or maybe second, I saw his Instagram handle and I started messaging him about my first van and I was like, hey, like, how do you get vans for a deal? How do you like build, I don't know, the whole van? Yeah. I linked up with him in San Diego, became best friends with him. He connected me with Brandon Buckley and Kenzie West with Dameco Vans. And I was super lucky to have Kenzie let me work and live in her shop with her. Oh wow. And I just learned everything that she knew, all the woodworking, all the electrical. What are we on, you know, van wise and uh and you know length, wheelbase, uh, you know, the whole the whole thing. Yeah. So this is a 2021 170 4x4 sprinter, all black rhino tires. Oh, nice. I wrapped the bottom uh here and then the hood as well and cool. it's a six cylinder turbo um i we can get around to the back later at the end of the video but i want to get right into this man i, I want to kind of show off the goods step on in and kind of explain uh why i love this uh floor plan as much as i do awesome so stepping in you're immediately led in by the angle of my shower and it guides you right into the back probably the biggest part and most exciting thing in this build has to be the shower i had some influence online from this guy in europe that does corner showers corner shower but it's going to be a walkthrough corner shower it's three foot this way three foot this way and then yeah it's plenty big it has a rain shower mowing and that has a handle here as well the is that one of those misters, the ones that like only does like a one gallon per minute? Yeah, thing? yeah. It's a gallon and a half per minute. Gallon and a half per minute. Yeah, and I have a forty-two gallon freshwater tank and a four gallon hot water heater, so I have plenty of water. It's about like thirty minute showers, I would say. If you were to, yeah, if you were if to you leave just, it on the whole time. Yeah, if you're like sad one day on a rainy day <laughs> and you wanted to sit in here for thirty minutes. <laughs> like this is the van for you. Okay, if you're <laughs> sad one day. <laughs> and then you have the pass through, which yeah. is really interesting to me. Yeah, so the way this works is these are two Nautilus shower doors, self-cleaning. So as in one right here? Yeah, this is one as well. Oh, gotcha. So when you're in here, it just really encloses this space and you, you feel like you're in an apartment. Like this is like a luxury shower that's like better than my home. Here, so you can access the front. Like I can step through very easily here. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, right here is where I can leave all my soaps. And yeah, this is like really sturdy, really on here. And I just noticed you have you have venting that goes through there and you have venting through a ceiling fan. Oh yeah, so that was probably the biggest engineering in this design was once both shower doors are closed and you wanna have the vent fan on, if I didn't add this pocket right here, uh, the wind would like suck on the shower door like this. It would like push in. Oh, just from the fan? Yeah, just from the fan. Oh, wow. Cut out notches right here. So when both doors are closed, it can suck air through these notches and vent it out. This whole thing is framed in steel studs and- Just the shower? Yeah, the shower and the garage. Okay. And then this partition for sturdy, like yeah. it's a part of the You're van. You're shaking the van, dude. Yeah, Jared is <laughs> yeah, shaking Jared. How the heck did you come up with the shower and then the garage right there? Oh, the reason I came up with a garage right here <laughs> is because I knew I wanted to do this corner shower. And if you look in here, I had to extend this shower uh, with pressure treated wood and a black FRP board. Okay. What was left in this little like area is the exact width of the garage, which ends up being perfect because now you have a full wet garage 
right when you open the door, you can have access to a bunch of dirty things. Nice. Like skis and boots and you name it. And you put a light in at the top. Yeah. That actually is dual functioning. Yeah. Swivel, so you have exterior lighting at night. Um, plenty, plenty of lighting. Why the notch? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I'll come back to like material here. Well, I mean, you can go and yeah. tell me the material. Okay, so uh, I wanted to make sure this was waterproof. Okay. Um, so under each of these material fabrics is waterproofed with dry lock um, Baltic birch, and this is neoprene, so it's wetsuit material. I'm gonna step in because I feel like you're gonna have to go over something. That yeah. the reason the notch is there. Oh yeah. So. Uh, when I originally made this, this notch wasn't here, and I closed the door for the first time, and I was like, well, I don't know how to open this door <laughs> without going out the back doors. And I actually stood right here with my right foot down with a tape measure on my bicep <laughs> to measure the cutout, and then this is a perfect cutout. I will show you. You can like reach through here click the button oh okay yeah i bet you nobody really thought of that until <laughs> i was like oh yeah why is that not safe but that does make a lot more sense now yeah before we get to the rest of the van you keep on saying you know i can do this i can do that um is this for sale dude oh yeah this okay. is for sale All um right. yeah you can find it at my website which is revisa luxury vans find it on van camper you have this is like your your kitchen area but you have your cooking and you have your sink right here mm -hmm. here is the induction cooktop it's a dual burner 120. i i tried to make all of the uh surfaces that you look down on gray so the countertops the cushions and the floors because the color scheme in general is fairly dark and I wanted to make it feel like more light without mm. taking away from the color scheme that I liked, which was black and walnut. Mm -hmm. So when you're standing and looking down, countertops, laminated, floors and cushions, all gray. Smaller sink on this side and your refrigerator too, by the way. Yeah. I just realized that. Yeah, so right here is the Dometic CRX 110. And this is a fridge and a freezer running off of 12 volts. Nice. And yeah, that'll run indefinitely off of my battery bank. Oh, of course. And yeah. we're going to get to that battery bank here in a minute. Yeah. Do you have your shower set up and then is this just like stored underneath the sink? Yeah. So right here, let me step over here. So I had to cut this uh, cabinet and then have a small door because it has to swing all the way open. Ah. And then right here on drawer slides is a Laveo dry flush toilet. Nice. And the way this works is you sit sideways and it's on thousand pound drawer slides oh nice so i'm pretty sure the wood would snap before yeah absolutely <laughs> uh you went with one of my favorite toilets actually is the laveo dry flush before we move to uh the the lounge section and then i need to ask you where you sleep before we get there i love your color scheme of the dark you know tones what wood did you go with i have been dreaming of this color scheme for like three years i have screenshots of like kitchens and bathrooms and i was just super obsessed with dark walls and walnut wood that look has just like had my attention for a long time now so this is walnut all the cabinet faces are three quarter inch walnut total of two hours sifting through a few hundred boards to try to find the, <laughs> the nicest grain matching boards. Like, so these are two boards right here and it's connected down the center, grain yep. matched all the way down. And I left the live edge, like this is what, this was natural. Yep. So I wanted to keep that looking that way. You're thinking like a seasoned woodworker. Yeah. By grain matching, by yeah. standing there and sifting through woods. I asked you how long you've been woodworking for and you simply answered, I haven't done woodworking. <laughs> yes, <this. laughs> and I, I admire that yeah. uh, quite a, a lot, actually, Lucas, yeah. because Thank what you. you did is what not a lot of people think of. Yeah. To sift through, to have the patience to look through all that wood all that time is an amazing accomplishment, buddy. Yeah, thank so you. Good for you. Look at the ceiling, everybody. Yeah. Look at this. So the ceiling is half inch walnut. Each of these are grain mashed all the way down. And I made sure that the two or that the centerpiece was as big or big enough to cut five because like one, two, like, and then the rest could be three. But to find like a five or a width of a half inch board, 
was hard. And then underneath the slats is just like a like a painted black plywood? Yeah, underneath is quarter inch Baltic birch painted. Nice. Yeah. This was four pieces and this is two. Yeah, you, um, did, you did really nice glue ups. Yeah, thank you. Really nice glue ups. Yeah. Is your whole backsplash? Or is those oh, yeah, this is a whole. <laughs> okay, so I started, I, I wanted to do this for a long time as okay. well. This is in one of my photos, like a backsplash that's like three dimensional and yeah. natural. Found out that I needed four different depths of walnut to pull this off. So I started with three quarter inch and I got a planer and I planed down to four different depths. It was three quarter, half inch, eighth inch, and 16th inch. It was Holy like moly. literally like paper. At the very top, I made sure to do one solid piece to diffuse the light equally. Then the next row, two, and then that's when I started doing my staggered as nice. we went. Thing is everything in this van is uh, handleless and I wanted to make that um, handleless, as yeah. in there's no handles. Yeah, so I didn't want to have any hardware showing because that takes away from the so experience. So how do you open the drawers? Or the right here, I routed out. Oh wow! I champ I took a chamfer bit and routed out like a notch to pull everything open. Yeah, it's good for you. Yeah. I thought you were gonna go with the push button. The, oh, the push one. I don't trust those. You I don't trust them. You're off-roading and hit a right turn. Yeah, in a, a van, I definitely agree with you. It's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, you know, in homes, in a home, maybe you can push the push the open. Yeah, button. exactly. All right, so Lucas, we're gonna get into the lounge area, which you have. You're friends with Shaden, yep. which has been on my channel. I am not surprised you went with a Happy Jack. Yeah, second which, time. Second time. Yeah. Uh, this is your second van. Thanks for yeah. clarifying that. I First know under this bench, you've got some some goodies for me. Yeah. What do you got? I have 15,000 watt hours of 12 volt lithium. Yeah, it takes up the whole bench. And then a 10 inch subwoofer that connects to my 9.1 home theater sound system. Home theater sound system. Yes, <laughs> it plays. So like when you're sitting in a movie theater and you get that feeling of the sound traveling around your head and then like circling you, that's what this uh, sound system does. Uh, I got it on Amazon. It is JBL 9.1 home theater. Oh, yeah. I like it. And that'll connect to Bluetooth I'm on your phone for music and it'll connect to the Nebula projector for movies. You have a Nebula projector? Yeah. What? Yeah. And I that, really want one. We'll, we'll dive into that in a bit, but I have... That's made by my friends, I believe, over at Anchor. Oh, no way. I think so. Yeah. So this bench will mostly not be used because of the fact that the whole bench is taken up by oh electrical. Oh my god! <laughs> You're using SOK, which probably means that you are friends with uh, Will. I am friends with Will Prowse. Yeah, yes. see, that, see how I know that stuff? Yeah. Everybody? We have like six 206 amp hour lithium batteries here, 12 volt. Everything is ran on uh, 4 op marine grade wire. That's a big wire. Yeah, I don't, I didn't want to... I don't want to deal with undersizing anything. It's just a problem that will be saved for the future. Thing is fused out uh, multiple times. Like here's a mega fuse, and so I have a 3,000 watt inverter charger, and I that's connected to shore power, 20 12 volt fuses. Nice. Solar charge controller, a 60 amp alternator charger, and also a 280 amp alternator charger. I have a backup alternator charger essentially. <laughs> Just like a boat. And how many, uh, what's this, what's the wattage on the roof? Uh, it's 440. 440, watt. yeah, okay. Yeah, it's 440 watts of Merlin walkable solar. So this is my 10 inch sub that connects to my sound bar. And this is the sound bar. It's probably oh my, my favorite God. thing in the van. And the coolest part I, about this projector is, whoa, the pilot speakers are Bluetooth. These magnetize to the end of the sound bar and that's how they charge. And you can drive like this there you can see it's charging yeah you i just can, saw that red light come on yeah so you can drive like this because it, it it can't come down you have to pull it directly out and then it comes with channels that fit right in here and you have fully surround sound here's the other one so that is hardwired in yeah so that bar on the back this is actually ran off of an extension cord in the back oh nice yeah that goes through the bench down into here Where's yeah. your projector out of all of this? Should I close this up? Yeah, close that up. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of the van, I know I've said that already, <laughs> has to be <laughs> the projector. Yeah. Linked with the sound bar. Of course. Um, so there are three locations that you can have this. Uh, when the bed is up, you can be sitting down here with friends and watch movies right here. 
So here's the projector. Yeah, and then this is like the sound bar that it connects to, and then you have the two pilots. So it's just, it's unreal. This is not just a projector. This is a home theater. Yeah. Because so, you've got you've got surround sound. Yeah, it's a 50, in, uh, 50 inch screen with the 9.1 home theater sound system. When the bed is up, the Nebula sits on the tripod that comes with the van right here. When the bed is down, the projector is held up by magnets and I added hooks to the end of it. So okay. you can move the projector to the cross beam of the Happy Jack and then you now have a projector for when the bed's down. And then the final position is when the back doors are opened, you can flip the projector to point outside and then you take these two speakers right here and now you're gonna have an outdoor yeah. theater experience. Exactly. Wow. So you set up your blankets, your pillows, your chairs, and you put these on the sides of you, and you have a full and outdoor experience. I believe you're, that projector, actually, you can pretty much connect it right to your phone, Yeah, right? exactly. And, and you can watch anything you have app-wise on your phone. Yeah. I wanted, before we put the bed down, um, I'll touch on your windows, because your windows are actually really nice. Got them from, I think you were telling me, Van Windows Direct? Yeah, so <clears throat> I got these windows from Van Windows Direct, and they're sliders. One thing I do like about these is they have huge, like this slider is bigger than the normal slider. The only thing I would say is like the screen is Velcro instead of sliding, but at the end of the day, yeah, you can always push it off. So I did the window frames grain matched. You can't really tell, but I did uh, <laughs> with half inch. And in the windowsill is a cigarette lighter and two USBs. That's nice. So you're able to charge when you're hanging out and when the bed's down at night. Two years ago, if you saw this, you guys probably would have freaked out, but now you've probably seen it in every <laughs> single van tour. So I am also one of those guys that has a happy jack. I mean, <laughs> as long as it's done right. Yeah. And I, yeah. I feel like this is one of the, the better layouts to do it in. Yeah, exactly. Um, looks like you sleep north-south. Yeah, well, I actually put my pillows here because I have a Max Air skylight and I don't like the pillows to like cram against the flange. Got it. So this is a four inch memory foam full queen bed. Nice. And so you have the project, you got, you just wanted to show me something. You grab the projector, which is right there. Yeah. And so then what are you about to do for us? When the bed is down, you have to attach the magnet attachment to the bottom of the nebula. And if you take a look over here, you can see a washer that's VHB taped to the roof. Oh yeah, right there. And that's like, that's on there pretty dang good. Like, yeah. So that's what that looks like. And then the screen is just right over there where, yeah. that, where that guy that I just pointed at is. Yeah. Are you guys get an out the back shot. Yeah. You could be just laying here without the projector in there and just have a nice beach shot. Oh, but this is the projector. That's how that's how HD it is. <laughs> yeah, so the screen is actually the whole... Uh... I wish my camera shot that well. <laughs> um, yeah, so the projector is held up by magnets and you can magnetize it to the cross beams here. And then this comes down. Look at that, huh? Like that. And then you guys have the projector right there. That's pretty cool. Very well done. Yeah, thank you. Home theater. Home theater. So like in this situation, you would take these speakers and you'd place them right here. Nice. So you'd have one here, one here, and then again, you have your fully surround sound. The sub's right underneath you on the bench. And we've seen where you take a shower, seen where you go to the bathroom. We've seen a lounge area. We've seen a theater room. Yeah. We've seen a bed, plenty of storage it looks like. You have yep. a garage right here. Nice artwork, by the way. Thank you. Um, I guess we can show the back, but there's really not much going on back there. I mean, so uh, right off the bat, you also have your Sherpa rack with a box on there. Yeah. Out by Owl, right? Yeah, this is by Owl Vans. Nice. Yeah, so you can store any outdoor gear in here. Right now, I have a pizza oven in here. And <laughs> why not? Yeah, I will be selling the pizza oven with the van too. It's an Uni pizza oven. Nice. And it comes with a bag of pellets. Nice. So. Spare tire holder with a ladder that goes up. Yeah, so. Also done by Owl, I believe. Yeah. So nice. It's pretty self explanatory. <laughs> Big tire. I forgot all about this because we're in the summer months, but you know, yeah. we get cold. You have to have a heater. Exactly. So this is an S bar S2 diesel heater. I talked about heat, but then I was like, wait a minute, we're in summer months, but you do actually have an air conditioner. We didn't, we I, didn't even, Oh shoot. <laughs> it's okay. You do. It's that yeah. you have, you have a, you have an air conditioner at the front. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, 
so we'll, we'll go there. I have a Dometic, Sierra, or Dometic RTX 2000 air conditioner. And with my electrical system, you can actually run that air conditioner for 40 hours on Eco, I believe, 45 yeah. hours. Yeah, that's a 12 volt yeah. air conditioner. Yeah, 12 yeah. volt air conditioner. Over here, I have my gray tank switch to empty the tank. Uh, I put the shore power inside because this most likely won't get used because I have a 280 amp alternator. This is the fan um, to cool down the electrical. It's set on a temperature gauge in there. Whenever it hits 100 degrees, the fan will kick and then it'll shoot all the hot air across the bench and out the port for the subwoofer, which nice. is over there. Um, yeah, this is the water fill. Pretty basic stuff. Guy I live in. Yes, sir. This is the Max Air Skylight. It's pretty good, yeah. It, it has a blackout slide here and a mosquito net slide here. This is usually where I put my head. I just don't put pillows here because I don't want it to crush the flange right here. But yeah, this opens to multiple different depths. Like it can stop here or it can open all the way up. And then you can climb through this skylight to the roof of the van where nice. the walkable solar is. Yeah. And then I wired a light switch over here and that turns on the lights for around the skylight. Um, if you're in a pinch and you lost something in your bed and it's late, you can, nice. you know, lost your phone. Lucas, man, I, you know what? You showed us pretty much everything. Uh, this is a full on, you want to go live? This is, this is the van to live out of. Oh like, yeah. I don't really know how else to say that. Like you could live very comfortably out of this van. Yeah. Give your uh, information one more time, like your Instagram and your, you said you have a website as well. Yeah, so my Instagram is just my full name. It's Lucas Raviza. And my website is Raviza Luxury Vans. Um, there you'll find my van. I, ha I offer a few other things. Again, I just want to say a huge shout out to Jared. Thanks, man. I'm. I, it happens all the time, but I am here because of Jared's videos. Oh, thank you. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. That's why I keep doing what I keep doing. So yeah. uh, keep on keeping on. Uh, thanks again. And we're going to see you again probably in the very near future if you're friends with all my friends. And yeah. now I'm friends with you. So this works out really well. Exactly. Get in contact with him, especially if you want this van or maybe something in the future because it looks like he's going to be selling more of these. So yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Lucas, man. Appreciate thank your you. time.